Hi, welcome back to Knit for Brains podcast. I'm Alicia Gifford. I'm Laura Brady. And this is a mother-daughter duo podcast about knitting and crocheting and crafting and all that fun stuff. We come to you 60 miles south of Chicago in Bradley, Illinois. And you can find us on Instagram, Ravelry, Facebook, Etsy, and our website, www.knitforbrains.org. <laughs> we like to say a big hello to all of our returning viewers and a big thank you for everybody who's here watching. Remember to thumbs up, subscribe, comment. I did good this time. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> what are we starting with, Mom? I just had a thought. No, I guess we didn't. I was thinking we had another pattern to give away this time. But I don't have it wrote down, so I'm guessing no. Okay. Um, we have donation for the. That's probably what I was thinking about. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do finished objects. None. Okay. Do you have the baby sock blockers? Yes. <laughs> Wrong one. Okay. Well, you look for that. I'll show my first finished object. Um, this is, and I showed one last, I think at last episode as well. This is a pattern, um, from Skyly Knits, the Adventures in Mini Land hat. And I had made it out of the Honey Bee Knits, um, mini skein. Set. From the Tits Out collection. And I made a second one. Oh, I like it. And I did different patterning on this one. Um, it's the same colors. I did put, um, the only color that's in the same order, though, is the top. Mm -hmm. Of them are both the same because I'm going to do, um, they're kind of matching hats, but not matching hats. So okay. I'm going to do one for Wendy and one for um, I was her daughter, say Olivia. That. And even after doing, um, two hats. I love mini skein sets. I still have all this. Woohoo. Like I might, I'd have to weigh it, but I might be able to get a third hat. <laughs> Maybe. So I, I will probably weigh it. If nothing else, like a little baby hat or something. Yeah. So, um, that was really cool. So I've made two hats out of this set. So that was my first finished object. And then, oh, you only got one. Do you want the other one? Well, I, I mean, have I a sock have... on it. Oh, it's fine then. And then I had showed you last time my one little baby booty or sock. I finished the other one. That's cute. So we and have a, a complete set now. Crystal Skies hand dyed yarn? Yes, Crystal Skies hand dyed. And then after that. This is Brew City Yarns. I believe. I've got another set. Gryffindor. And this was fun. I actually knit three socks for the set. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, because I brought it to knit night the one time and. I think I missed marking down a couple of rows. And I'm not used to having to count rows because I usually do two at a time, so they automatically match. So I had, when I finished the two socks, they, they were not the same size. <laughs> so then I started a third one and I misread my notes on the pattern and I was supposed to do like one, once I did increases or whatever before I started uh, rounding the toe, I was supposed to do, do 10 rows. I did 20 and I'm gonna be honest with you, because this is the first time I've used DPNs, I was confused on how to tink back. So I just ripped out the whole thing. Yeah. And I started again because they're small enough. I mean, it's, and I know you guys are probably like, seriously, you didn't know how to tink it back. <laughs> it confuses me with that many needles. Well, even when you first started knitting again. Yeah, I didn't tink back. She I didn't like to like, tink I back. back I, out. I like to tink back. Um, not when it's like lace and whatnot. Like I'll tink back now in my regular yeah. knitting, um, but I didn't feel comfortable enough with being that new to using DPNs um, to do that. And it was so small. I mean, I know I messed I up my flap on one of them. I messed up before the flap and I should have tinked back all the way to the ribbing, mm. but I only, um, I pulled that needle out and then I ripped out all of the heel flap because they're, that was just bad. yeah. So I got um, two sets of baby socks. I'm gonna end up getting a box and um, and do a box of socks for the baby. We need you need to get uh, colors for every Harry Potter house. Oh, okay. so if you have any scraps, scraps that because we have Gryffindor, which I know is the most common, 
and I'm I have Hufflepuff self striping. Okay. Um. So Slytherin and Ravenclaw. Yeah. If you they have don't any they don't any of those, at all. Like, so even if it's just a twenty gram mini or twenty five gram. I don't even think it would. Take I don't even 20. think it takes that it's much. Probably like ten grams, honestly. Like honestly. it does not take. I would have to weigh these, um, but it does not take much at all because you gave. Oh, I don't have it in here. Um, you gave me that ball of this, mm -hmm. and it wasn't that big, and I still have yeah. a good. Like I could probably do three more pairs if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some sort of box and start putting them in there, and, um, and then the baby will have a box of socks. That's nice. So. Um, yeah, so I got that. Um, while I have this out, I'm going to go ahead. Um, she got new pens. I got some new pens, and I'm going to tell you right now that one of them does have a bad word on it. I we will just, not, I will not say, say it. it, okay? But it is a um, enamel pen I had previously looked at, and I did not purchase myself. Um, when I was in Arkansas at Lori's house this weekend, which we will talk about later, um, she had made me up this gift package and, um, some of the pins were in there and it, the one was my favorite one, um, which is, and it's always hard for me to do this, this one right here. Oops. I'm knocking it. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, if I'm reading that, so she gave me that one and this one here. And then if you notice... There's um, a Hot Spring Arkansas one here. This one's a Hot Spring Arkansas. This one as well. We found in different little uh, gift shops when we were in Hot Springs. Um, I think that's all the new ones on there, I'm pretty sure. So, yay. My favorite just showed that since I had the bag out. Yeah. Um, Any other finished stuff? No. No? Because I'm still working on that secret project. Yeah. Um, which is nearing the end, and you guys will be able to see it soon. Um, mm -hmm. So I didn't have a lot of time to do some other stuff. Let us go ahead um, and talk. Oh, no. No, no, no. You want to do these? Sure. I did not. We'll just take it back. Hold on. Because I stole it. Okay. So we had two pattern giveaways for this time that we drew from the comments randomly before we started. The first one is going to be the Adventures in Mini Land, Minnie's Land Hat. Uh, before we announce the winners, you will need to get a hold of us either on Instagram or Ravelry and let us know what your Ravelry name is because we cannot get the designer to send it over unless you do so. So the winner of the Adventures in Mini Land's hat is Haley. Which I believe is Halesby. Halesby hand. Oh, she's not Halesby. She changed their name. Why would you do that to mm, us? And I can't remember. You know who you are. Yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> okay. The second one that we were giving away, which I knitted, I showed this previously that I had knitted two of them, and it's beautiful pattern, fun to knit, is Storms of Brewing by Cheryl, who is uh, Hypnotic Yarn. And the winner of this pattern is... Kim Riston. So Kim and Haley, get us your Ravelry names, and we will have the designer send those over to you. Congratulations. Okay. Since we're taking care of our business, you want to do coupon codes? Sure. I know you love doing coupon codes. I love coupon codes. Here's our regular ones. Yay, regular ones. So our first one is the ever running and ever loving the Happy Little Yarns. She has an uh, Etsy shop, which is Happy Little Yarn Co. Not Co. Just Happy Little Yarn. Yep, Happy Little Yarn. And um, it is her hand dyed yarn. And it's, if you use Knit for Brains, Coupon code, you get 15% off. And if you go to happylittleyarn.com, that's where she sells other people's hand-dyed yarns. And you can use the code knit for brain and you get 15% off. Your dad pops it on the screen. That's I know. <laughs> Stop telling them that. Do, do, do. Well, you keep laughing. Laugh, laugh. I'm, I'm... You're time tied today. Okay, okay. every Next day. One. Next one. Whips on sticks. Dot com. 10% off. You can only use it once. So load up your cart. Load up your cart with everything <laughs> that you want. 
and then use, use it your coat because the next time that you're like man i should have gotten that yarn too you can't use too that 10 percent off that once you can give them coat yep it's kfb 10 but why did i have to give it to you guys it's on the screen <laughs> <laughs> okay we have a new code as well i like new code colds yeah i like it i like a good old cold i love a good old cold okay so the next code is k4b15 oh that's a new code yeah that's a new one um so 15 percent off obviously because it's 15 uh the tangled skeins tangled skein ca on, on Etsy. yes and she also has a podcast yes sue all righty um What's up, Buttercup? Whips. Okay. Should we show shop bags so I can actually get yeah, to my whips? Yeah, we can shop what bags. We're going to go ahead and start. And then you guys can pause it and actually yeah. like, <laughs> and try to get some we bags. Have, we have people that do that. They're like, oh, man, I missed it by the time I watch. I you usually know, try to post photos of the stuff, like, at least, like, an hour after the podcast has been posted. To kind of give the podcast people a chance. But there's certain people that... They don't... There's they not time know, to go... Well, they... Everybody knows we record Sunday night, mm -hmm. and they've caught on. That means your dad slide these into the shop Sunday night after we record. Yeah. And there are certain people that will go in there. Why are you giving away secrets? So, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to every, uh, every, be sneaky. Every two weeks. <laughs> so, um, the first bag, actually, is, <laughs> is for fabric Alicia. that I bought. <laughs> <laughs> and I made her um, a small one out of the bag, so that one is yours. Thank you. But I made two mediums. And it's such a fun, bright fabric. And who doesn't like Mario? And I made baby big bibs out of this. Um, this, as always, comes with a needle keeper, and this is the beautiful inside. Mm. So cute. Two years ago. Teddy's almost two years old now. So we have two medium of these. The next one, I do only have one of. It is a medium snap bag with these beautiful watercolored hummingbirds. And you know what? This one's not my favorite, so it's probably going to be the first one to go. And I love the inside. I do like the inside. The inside is so cool. Because it looks like watercolor. Yes. I tried to find a real nice watercolory kind of fabric. I think this one is beautiful. Okay, so... Only one of those guys. It's a real nice quality yeah. fabric. Okay, so I did make some more bags of the ones that sold out, and you guys told me. What was that? Four weeks ago. I wish we had you had more of those. I have a few more. One of the fabrics is my. It's fall, y'all, and I did mix it up a little bit. So I made two of the small ones with snaps. With snaps. I was trapped. I'll flip this over to show you the liner. So there's two of those. I like your nails, Mom. Oh, thank you. They match your bag. <laughs> so two smalls, two mediums. It's fall, y'all. Those sold out lickety split. Another one that sold out very quickly and I've been having messages about is the Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a medium sized zippered bag. And this is purple, not blue. Yeah. I don't know how it's... I think it showed up. No, it didn't. Oh, it didn't? Sam told me. She's like... Okay. It, and I had showed her the, like, everything. She's like, it's not... It, that it, that did not show okay. up like that at it all. It is purple and it will clearly be purple if you go and look at the picture in the shop. Because we are pretty good about the pictures. Okay, so I have one medium. <clears throat> and I did two larges. Because I know you guys are kind of working, a lot of you are working on some mm -hmm. winter projects now. Mm -hmm. So a bigger bag is nice for those uh, fall and winter items. So two larges. So those are the ones that we'll be adding into the shop this time. So... There's that. Now we can go to whips. Would you like to go first? I only have two, so that's have... all. I think I think that's all I have as well. Okay. Um, my first one. Oh, that's an acquisition. Too. It's an acquisition as well because I put it in the bag right away because it's so cute. I ordered these when I was on my way to Arkansas. 
I and saw... she's coming out with new wizards every update. Mm-hmm. So if she comes out with a, a, with Bellatrix or oh. Snape, I'm getting it. No, I haven't seen those. No, um, she's only done Hermione. Yes. Um, which honestly, Harry, Hermione, and, J- and Ron are not my favorites. I so. happened to see her post on Instagram as we were driving, and it was a little bit after she had posted. And I was like, well, I'll still go and see. But I figured they'd be gone. No, they were both there. So I nabbed them up really, really quick. Is this beautiful? And this is from Random Fandom Bags. She's got her applique. Um, oh, my gosh. It's like characters. light denim and then canvas. And it's a drawstring. And it has two handles. And, then, and I saw the Harry Potter. I knew Alicia needed it. And on the inside, it's the stained glass of all the houses. And she has a little thing to put. And then she has a little from. stitch mark thing. So I like. This is a good quality bag. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Because I don't really need bags, so I don't no. really buy bags. Um. Yeah. But there's a few there's a that few I'm that just like. I'm good. I will it. definitely. Um. Like I, I. I also like Lila Styles bags. Are really Lila nice Lila too. Styles. Oh, did you? Oh, and I don't do that. Her and Tristan are doing a collaboration. Oh, that'll be a nice collab. <laughs> I might pork over the money for that one. Um, I got one of them done. <laughs> um, I'm using a free pattern on Ravelry. I don't remember which one because my printer is no longer hooked up, so I'm not printing. And there's no ink. There's um, never any ink, guys. Um, but <laughs> this is my first time using DPNs. I am using a size one. Um, so mine is a little bit different. It's supposed to be a two by two rib, but I did a one by one twisted rib instead. Um, yeah, like all around here, I accidentally did a whole pearl row. <laughs> so then the the direction for my heel flap was going the wrong way. So then I had to realize that and rip it all out and whatever. So I got the hoe. The baby's not gonna care. And it, it's gonna it, cover the little tipsies. This isn't for me. It's for Lauren. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, it's pink. Oh yeah, I didn't even. <laughs> it doesn't even dawn on me. It, it, this is um, wow. this is the ball that I'm working from. But I had two balls. I made socks for myself a long time ago out of this. This is um, Yarn Cafe Creations Mermaid Party, I believe. Something like and it's one. It's one. I believe it's Mermaid Party, and it's my f- one of my favorite socks that I've ever knitted because it just knitted up so cute. So I'm on my second one. I'm almost to the decreases for the toe. Is it going better? Look how much smoother it looks. Mm-hmm. So much smoother. And well, you're getting the feeling of how I that, think that was the DPNs issue when you first start are very fiddly. If you're so not used to fiddly, using I was them. like, why are these in my and way I still right now? Think like the first two or three rounds, it's fiddly, but then mm-hmm. as it gets longer, it's and you like, can oh, tell no, like no there's a deal. few. It's a little loose there, That's and then it gets a little. Lauren doesn't um, knit or crochet or anything. She just so appreciates she's one of those people it. that would be appreciative even if it had a ladder in it. Yeah, I mean, look. and they're going on, on little tootsies. So. Yeah, so I'm almost done with those. I'm very excited. <laughs> Only lost. The needles through the couch cushions once <laughs> and phil goes are you honestly going to use that needle again i'm like yes i am i was um we're eating lunch today at city barbecue what i have enough that i can do another pair and i kept dropping my one dpn on the floor and i couldn't pick it up then i literally had to like use my nails to kind of scoop it up yep yeah i was like really all right i'm up yep I might as well do baby socks, too. Oh, uh, this well. was another thing I got from Lori. Did you get enough? Oops. It's, or, like, the key thing, and you spin it to see one more what. Of course, every time I spin it, it comes to one more row. Every time your dad spins it, it comes to one more cookie. Well, of course. I'm like, seriously? Okay, so I've moved on, and I, I don't have much work done on it yet. I mean, I just started it. Oh, mine were chai goo. Okay. Size one. The big, <sighs> beginning of my next baby sack. They're orange. Yes. 
I like orange. Um, I don't know why I'm liking the orange because it reminds I me of pulled, foxes. I pulled a lot of, uh, I went through my stash and pulled a lot of neutrals. It was kind of hard because a lot of my yarn is sparkle. Yeah. Um, so I was very limited as to what I could pull. I don't even know who this is from. Um, but I have the orange coming up. I have red. I have the one I made sweater out of. I love that yarn. Those will be socks. Am I, isn't that inked? Yes. The other one from Crafty Mama that I did the sweater shipwrecked. from. Shipwrecked. And then I am using Zings in a US 3, which is a 3.25 millimeters. Um, I went to Zings basically because they're my favorite needles for circulars. No, so, I went to Chaiku because I trust them. Yeah, so, um, and it's all personal preference. And Zings are very affordable, and I figured if, oh shoot, if I got into um, using the DPNs that I nope. would buy the whole <laughs> Zing set. Um, Which is only like 35 bucks. Exactly. Sorry, my ball went rolling that way. Your ball's um, not running. So, to get a whole set of DPNs for $35, which it isn't even $35, because if you go through Handsome Fibers, you get 10% off all the time. And free shipping. And free shipping. Hey. So, really, and you know what, guys? They have Chagoos. Licka. Licka. I mean, any, a lot of needles. So, if you're shopping for needles, definitely check out Handsome Fibers. That's where we tend to go. And they come really quick. Usually within and two to three days. Two to three days, too. So, wish my pregnancy pillow would come back quickly. So, that's that. So, that was my, um, I thought I was going to actually work on that in the car today, and I did not. I worked on something else. Yay! But it's my turn. Oh, okay. Don't cheat me. I can't cheat her. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Here's my other favorite bag. <laughs> and it's Luna, and this is a Lila Styles bag. <laughs> Can it just be done? I no, it can't be because she's born in October. <laughs> um, it's so cute. This is the flax lights, um, and this is in the six month size, and it is in Dragon Horde Yarns Aphrodite's colorway, right? Yes. You positive about that? Yes. Okay. Because I saw you posted it. <laughs> um. And I did, I did a regular bind off. It's not that stretchy, which you're still going to get over oh, yeah. a baby. I was just like, you know, even if it's, a, if it's a chunky monkey, she'll be able to wear it for a little bit. Um, so yeah, all I have left are the sleeves. You should have that done by next time. Well, Phil's like, you told them that you'd be, you'd have it done. Why isn't it well, done? Well, if you give it to them before the next podcast, uh, take pictures so yeah. we can have Dad pop it in. Yeah, I just, but Still I want to want to see it done. I want to make something with it because I'm going to have enough yarn to do something with it. So I'm either going to do an, another pair of socks or a hat. You can do both. No, there won't be enough. No, there won't be enough. No, because there wasn't enough out of the yarn that I gave you from I think this, the one that I just did. I think socks would probably be good. That's what I'm because thinking. Because then, like, if they had on a little pair of pants and then they could have the socks and sweater that matches. Yeah. But I thought these colors, honestly, I'm going to be real. I didn't order this yarn on purpose. It was an accidental yarn. I thought it was a different yarn. And then I realized, no, it's not. So when I got it, I was like, mm, I like it's pretty, but I ain't going to use it anytime soon. And then I was like, I need a pink girl sweater. Those were the only two pinks that I had <laughs> in my yarn cubby. So I picked the one that had more fall tones in it. And it's going to be perfect because it's a Ball, baby it's a little yeah, it's, pumpkin it's really pretty and it, it's turning it out was, beautiful it was meant to be it and that is just you know something proves you wrong because even skeined up I was like it's all right but you know it's just not I'm not, not your colors I'm not feeling it I'm not vibing off of it and then as soon as I was like oh, fall baby pink with fall colors and it's even it's just beautiful it, it's really pretty it's very up. pretty knit up so, never judge a skein. I had the skein. By the skein. Okay. Oh, I'm using my Luka needles interchangeables. My next one, I have in the bag that I stole out of my shop. Because it's just a great bag and nobody wanted it. Uh, it's a sweater bag and I only had the one sweater bag, so <clears throat> I took it. 
I just... <clears throat> this is a sweater. I started for Alicia. The Fiona, Fiona Carnigan, Cardigan by Kirsten Hipsky. Are you sure it's Kirsten? It is. Cheers. Unless it's Kirsten. And this was some <laughs> of the yarn that I purchased from somebody's D stash. Mm. And I said, what am I gonna do with all that yarn? And I said, I'm gonna green and I'm gonna knit Alicia's sweater. And I'm actually on my second skein now. Hey. Hey. I think I've got I'd have to look at the pattern to make sure, but I think I've got like 15 more rows. That's fuzzy. And then I split for uh or then I um put this sleeves, sleeves on, on hold. hold. And it's very bunched up just because there's so many stitches on there. It takes me forever to get through a row. Yeah. I'm like, holy moly. Well, you are doing a larger size. Yeah. And I, I, well, A, I'm not used to that many stitches. Mm -hmm. B, the whole row back of the purling is just like, mm. But anyways, it's coming out really pretty. Um, let me see if I can get this to... You're good. There's the cabling detail in there. And then at the end, you do pick up, and you're supposed to do um, button bands. I'm going to pick up, and I'm just going to do a band. I'm not going to do buttons on it. So it's going to be like an open cardigan, uh, which is how I've done most of mine, honestly, too. I like to wear them open. And then especially with her being pregnant, um, I'm just she'll, still be, yeah, she'll still be able to wear it. Yeah. So that'll be nice. And this is one that, you know, if she gets something on it, she's going to be able to throw it into the wash machine. Because it's, it's washable. One, it's 100% acrylic, isn't it? Or is it acrylic wool? I don't think I have one of the late. Oh, wait, yep, I do. It is made in Turkey. Plymouth yarn. Oh, sorry. 75% acrylic, 25% wool. Okay. So, but I figured it'd be nice that she could throw it into the wash. And then... Lay it to dry. Lay it flat to dry. So, it'll be much easier for her. I just picture the sheep laying flat to dry. <laughs> So I did actually get some work on that while we were um, driving up north today to go thrifting. And your dad was really annoyed. Because those are your loud ones? These are my loud needles. Your Novo Plantinos? Yes. Um, I like them, but they're loud. They're loud. The zings, even they're though they're metal, loud. are not as loud as these things. No. He never says anything about the zings, but... I don't, I, we were I three, feel like the zings are clunky too. We were three minutes into the drive and he's like, that's annoying. <laughs> you got the noisy needles. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't even remember what the sweater was on. Um, which, I mean, he turns the radio up so loud anyways. I mean, honestly, sometimes I can't even hear my, you know, think or read or anything because it's so loud. Okay, so that's that. Do you have any other whips? No. Okay, on to acquisitions. You want to go? Well, I already did one. Okay. Um, one. I'll do a gift because I got one more that I bought and then another gift. Well, I got two more than I bought. Um, this one mom brought back and it was Lori's gift to me um, from Arkansas Yarn Co., and this is a different base than her <laughs> normal, which mom <laughs> argued with me saying that it's I didn't her argue. Name. I said I, she didn't say that she had changed yeah, it. Yeah, like, it's the so. same. And I'm like, no. Anyhow. <laughs> Anyhow. Anyhow. Mom doesn't like to be wrong. Um, it's 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 10% <laughs> stellina. And this feels so soft. This is her... The Wicked Awesome, which I believe she was sold out of. Yes, she sold out very quickly. On very, it. very quickly. She and then I was up, like, no. She dyed up two more stains, one for herself and one for you. Because <laughs> this, like, these are like the perfect colors for Halloween. This is what I picture for Halloween. Black, green, orange, purple. That's, that's Halloween right there. It'll be something. Eventually. One year. Not this year. But thank you, Lori. And there's an Arkansas little Schneider special. We we found charms in the um one little For bookstore. Arkansas. In Hot Springs. 
Okay. Are you want me to go? Or do you want me to keep on going? What do you want me to do? I don't care. We'll go back and forth. Oh, you want me to do, woman? All right. Oh, this is going to be another sweater for Alicia. How about from D Stash, guys? This is Eggplant in Bravo Worsted from Knit Picks. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when I stay up late. And this is 100% acrylic. Yeah. So it will be another good one. Mm hmm. Um, will more than likely be a cardigan. Mm hmm. Um, Just a big, giant one, hopefully. I was hoping, I was thinking about the Harvest, that one that I made in the Burgundy. I don't remember. Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I was up late the one night and made the mistake of going on, although I don't feel a bit bad about it because I got it out of steel, guys. <laughs> yeah. I really did. Um, I wasn't sure about the color. Didn't know if she would. It's <sighs> actually mulberry. What? Mm -hmm. I thought it was the eggplant one. No, it's mulberry. Okay. Which is fine. Um, it actually is... I just like the eggplant uh, emoji. <laughs> Let me take one out here. It's actually a very... It, it was prettier in person than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. I think it is a very pretty color. And I think it will make a beautiful cardigan. I think so, too. And for the cost of it, you know what? If I don't get it done this year, whew, I'm not mad at myself. It'll be there waiting when I get it done. Or when I'm ready to go with it, you know? So, that was my first D stash, and yeah, love it. It happens. Yep. Okay, you're up. I'm up. <sighs> okay, uh, this is a spoiler <laughs> alert. If you haven't received your um, Lest Bellatrix Lestrange inspired mystery skein from Dragon Horde Yarn. So, you might not want to look or listen. Sorry. Because this is the most beautiful thing I've received. It's the perfect colors. I was so happy when I opened it and surprised because I was like, oh, it's going to be like dark colors and evil and, <laughs> you know, blah. And then it's this and it's just so pleasantly dark and beautiful. So it's like these mauvey browns and blacks and then there's some olive green in there, speckles. Because don't even get me started about speckles. I have no idea what this is going to be. But this is called the House of Lestrange. It's going to be something. And, and it's going to be loved. Very hard. That's it. Alright, I guess I'll show the bag. When I ordered Alicia's bag from Random Fandom, I went ahead and ordered myself one. Because, you know what? I don't... You don't buy bags for yourself. I don't buy bags for myself. I don't tent. Not very often. I don't keep, keep your bags. bags for myself. Very often. I did steal that one. Um, so every once in a while, I like a new bag myself. You got a flannel sheep. And look how cute it is. <laughs> I mean, really. Come on now. And it's the same style as Alicia's. Which I'm digging it. And yours is a flannel inside that flannel matches. flannel inside that matches. So, yeah, I can't wait to put a new project in this one. i got to decide what I'm going to put in here. Um, I've been trying to behave and not cast on more things because I have a project I need to finish, but I mean, get something, something in there. needs to be you know put what? in at, there. At some point, I'll get something in there. If it, if it doesn't put happen another right baby away, sweater in there. It'll Come on, Mom. Fine. So. Just, just, you know, start the baby sweater. You don't even have to finish it. <laughs> just put it in there. Just so you can put it in there. And then we'll you get to show it. We'll just the yarn and the pattern in there for now. I'd be like, yeah. this is what I plan to do. <laughs> All right, you're up again. Um. <clears throat> short and sweet. I bought needles. <laughs> this is mom's. Oh, I owe you for that, too. Don't worry about it. Um, this is for a baby sweater I'm doing. I ordered four things of yarn. I ordered my um, DPNs, which were size 1 stainless steel chai goo. And then I got a size 16 in a 16 inch cable in a size 1 and a size 2. And then I also got, I got the 3. <laughs> and then I also got a 9 inch in a size 1 and I should have gotten a 9 inch in a size 2 as well, but I didn't. Um, and this I ordered to do the baby joggers. Yes. 
You were excited about those. Yes. All right. Me again? Yeah. All right. Uh, yet again on Instagram. God, Instagram. Uh, they had a listing, or it had a post on there about they were doing, like, mystery skeins, basically. Um, and they it, it was a really, really good price. Um, they were trying to get rid of, like, older inventory so they could get the new yeah. stuff in. I don't even know how to sit. Wolf, wolfing? Wolfend. Okay, I'll just... Is we'll that hold, Sweden? I am not sure. We'll hold it up for you. They are on Etsy. And... I like it. I like it. It's called... Oh, it's Sparkle. High Sparrow on their Sparkle sock, which is 75% superwash, 20% nylon, and 5% gold-toned st stellina. I was about to say it matches your nails again. <laughs> and... It's a really good neutral again. It's so it's a rust. This might end up being a baby knit as well. Gotta love them. So I was happy with it. Um, yeah, I liked it when it showed. I was like, "Ooh, that would be nice." <laughs> 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 Gotta have those neutrals right now. I love neutrals right. right now. You got something else? Yeah. Um, Aunt Linda <laughs> sent me a package, <coughs> and it came with a baby sock pattern. Which, um, it's for DK weight. It's a whole kit. And it came with all of the yarn and mini skeins. This is DK weight. Um, and they're 25 grams. So seven colors for 25 and 25 grams a piece. <laughs> and she added this and it says he or she, what will it be? And she had, um, pacifiers. Well, yeah, on the package she had it. half the package wrapped in girl and half the package wrapped in boy and then coordinating pacifiers. Coordinating pacifiers. <laughs> um, and then she also added in some Chai Gu size 4 which is, uh, what, DPNs, you need which is what you need for that. And then she also added in some pink and baby pink and baby blue <laughs> stitch markers. And then she also added in her note, and her, she wrote a card, and she was like, you know, it's going to be here before you know, so you better start knitting. <laughs> and um, she was like, everything was a kit, except for the stuff that's in the bag. I just thought it was cute. Um, <laughs> so this is, it says knit for a queen, and then on the inside, it's in a bag. I'm not going to take them out. There's uh, baby-themed stitch markers, so there's like a little teddy bear and a pacifier. And, yeah. Um... And then <laughs> all these came with the baby set as well. Cute. Yes. That was it. There was a couple teas in there as well. Oh, and these are knit toe up. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't know how I feel about that with DPN, so. I don't know what I'm going to do. No, that. I think that'll be fine. And it, has, always... it has pictures. Oh, it has, yeah, it does. This looks like a really nice pattern. Yeah. Um, and you can always, if you don't want to do it on DPNs, just switch it over to Magic Loop. Yeah, that's what I was. I mean, but I would. It looks. Oh, you'd probably want DPNs. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I, mean, I mean, you have the DPNs, so. I'll try it. it. It looks very, actually, it looks very similar to what I'm doing right now. So, if you need help, like you did that one time. <laughs> well, I'm doing top down right now. So. I am too. Mom gave me a little lucky gnome. <laughs> it's a little tiny gnome. And then I have an Arkansas pen as well. <laughs> it's a bit of tiny gnome. It's a, it's a lucky little gnome. Okay. Next. Oh, please tell me I have... I do. Okay. So I had... I had to show this card because I think it's just the cutest... I placed an order with Skyly Knits for a yarn and a set of charms for Alicia. And she sent more. She sent um, some for you guys that will be being oh, used yes. for the Gift the Knits, Cal. Oh. Um, she has the cutest little card she wrote out. It says, I'll show you my stash if you show me yours. That's cute. Isn't that adorable? Um... 
Yeah, so. We got all that. So, what happened basically was, I ordered this one. I did not pay attention. It is non super wash. <laughs> Guess who's allergic? Yeah, that's right, me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Real closed up. Had to take Benadryl and make my poor husband put it in a bag. Thankfully, he is not allergic. Um, this will be a prize mm -hmm. for the Gift the Nets cow. So that's a whole skein of worsted weight yarn. Whole current skein of worsted weight yarn. And then this one, let me see the name. It's, it's Soft Sack, which is 7525. The name is Tropical. Will also be a prize for the Gift the Knits cow. And I did want to show her her label. So Skyly Knits, and I'm sure you recognize um, the name because we've given away quite a few of her patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, she's not only a designer, but she has a... Is it an Etsy store? I believe so. She has an Etsy store, yes. Um, it says on there, Mom. Does it? Dot yeah, Etsy. Etsy. Um, where she, she sells hand-dyed yarn and charms and stitch markers. So you guys should really check her out. But these will be prizes for the Gift the Nets Cal. Woot woot. It's going to be a lot of fun prizes. This one is for Alicia. Mm -hmm. uh, Sleepy Hollow. And it is DK weight. Yep. And that is a wonderful neutral yep. for baby knitting. And it's going to be a baby knit, so. And then I have Slither. 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 Which is on her <laughs> shimmer base. And it is beautiful. It's really pretty. Look at that, guys. And she's another one that has... A lot of shimmer. Yep. Look how pretty those colors are. And this has pole worth in it. Yes. Oh, I meant to say it's, that. Well, it's 100% so pole nice, worth. It's going to be a nice shirt. Like, it's going to be a long wearing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be perfect. Okay. So that's the yarn. Then. Got all sorts of things in here. <laughs> Got a David's Tea Toasted Walnut. There's your card. So you guys can see. I'm looking for yours, Alicia. That Those one. Are yours. <laughs> they are um, their little books. So one is Little Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood, and then Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> and they're so cute. Like they have they're little so spines, and there's something on the backs of them as well. Mm -hmm. um, I saw she had done a post on Instagram and I saw them and I'm like oh I've got to get those for Alicia um, she will love them there's just little designs on mm -hmm. the back that match the front they're very cute and they're, they're really they're, cute they are nice and lightweight as well it has the author on the spine of them that is really cool a lot of detail on those yes they're really really so. adorable and then she sent some extra goodies um, she watches the podcast so she knows my love for roses. So she sent these for me, which I absolutely adore. Look at those. Mm -hmm. Look how cute, guys. I will be using those a lot. They are gorgeous. And then she sent a couple other extras. Which are really cute. Um, these you can hook onto something. And then I'm trying to get it. Dear Lord, Mom. There we go. Can you can you get that one straight now? So you can hook no. onto something, and then there's the little hooks here where you can put like your, your stitch markers on. So I think we will probably put these for prizes as well with gift the knits. We'll put one with each one of the skeins. Yep. That's so what each we will do. Will come each with skein will randomly come with one of these. Yeah, that'll be good. So, thank you so much, Amanda. Um, we definitely appreciate it. Um, it's beautiful yarn. Like I said, um, 
I love her patterns as well. I've, I've, I've knit a lot of them. Yes. <laughs> They're fun, and I know she has some new ones coming out. But guys, go and check out her Etsy shop as well. I was uh, very excited to see uh, all the different things that she had. So and it was very thoughtful for her to send those extras for you guys and for us. All right. I was just trying to unbury a spot here. All right. Next, I am going to show um, some of my gifts from Lori. While you do that, I'm going to the restroom. Okay. I hope you guys don't hear me. She made this <laughs> humongous bag for me. Oh, <laughs> which is so nice because she knows that I don't typically keep a lot of the bags and stuff for myself like you know we had said earlier and on the inside of the bag it looks like water guys this is really pretty so this is beautiful uh, underwater scene on the outside and she does the nice big um handle as well i really like that so <clears throat> there is one thing in here i have to show alicia but that's okay um i had actually ordered this and i picked this up when i was at her house this is her resting witch face i had to get it of course it's on her super super sparkle which is the 70 20 10 and i i have to tell you i'm not normally a green person but this spoke to me when I saw it it is beautiful and my husband while we were there this is the yarn that he actually um, twisted the skein up dad did dad he did twisted, a really good yeah. job hey those are almost Slytherin colors yeah. it's really pretty I was saying I'm not a green person normally but this is this is gorgeous. And which one is that called? Uh, Resting Witch Face. Oh. It's the one I showed you and you were like, oh my gosh. But then you saw that other one. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this one. So I had actually ordered that one. Then she sent, uh, we'll just go here. She dyed me Aww. a blue sock blank and it's all different. All blues. Oh, no, like That's pretty. Colors, and that is really, really pretty. You do something if it's a boy. Mm-hmm. Or you just leave it like that and be like, hey, it's a blanket. <laughs> then, when she was at the beach, she had gotten me this. It's called Mermaid and Purple-ish. Ooh. Oh, loose. Yep. That's why. No. No, I can do that. Okay, just kidding, sir. Okay. Yeah, three skeins of yarn. And it says on here, three skeins of yarn and a hidden silver charm. So somewhere in one of the skeins is a hidden silver charm. Well, I can so, find it. There's the two minis and then the yarn that Alicia's obsessively searching. <laughs> it's not in this one. Okay, well, you want to switch? There's so no way it's in this one. Okay, guys, you can see the yarn. That's really pretty. <laughs> it is really pretty. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Hey! No, there's two of them. <laughs> there is. There's a mermaid. And an anchor. And an anchor. <laughs> oh, how fun. <laughs> Isn't that fun, guys? She's like, there's no way. There's it's a, no way. There is. It, this, is a, it's a, this is a tough yarn. Oh, I, I mean, not like rough, like scratchy, but it, it feels, um... Oh, this was the one me and Lori were debating, were, were saying about, because... <sighs> There's something in this. No, it says that it's a DK, and we don't agree. Oh, yeah, that's why it's different. Yeah, that's... Mm, it's a thin DK, but... We yeah. thought it was more like a sock weight. No. You think it is a DK? Yes. Yeah. I don't know, we were debating. This is a DK. Oh, yeah, it does look pretty close. This is a DK. So it's just a thinner DK than yeah. what we're used to. It's, it feels lighter weight. Yeah, so lighter DK. That's um, a lot of yardage. Well, and that's the other thing that got us. Um, there's a total of... that. It, well, no, that'd be about right, because 274 yards yep. of that, 54 yards, and 54 yards. Yep. 
So and speaking. treasure, it says. Or treasure. Arr. That was fun, though. <laughs> and it was so hilarious. You're like, it's not in here. It's not in here. I wonder if there's any in your mini skeins, too. Um, I doubt it. It says, if you're a very lucky pirate, you may find lots of treasure. Well, I mean, we already found two. That's fun. Okay, well, you look. I'm going to show them what else. Oh, and then when she went to Norway, these are my favorite brand of gummy bears. She got me some gummy bears Mary in Norway. Are so. they made in Germany? I don't know. I know there's a huge factory in Germany. Well, I can't even read I that. remember being there. Yeah, I'm not sure. They're good. That's all I know. <laughs> and then also in Germany, she got me one of those little bags. Yeah, in Germany. She was in Norway. Uh, Norway. You got me in Germany now. I want to go back. You showed one. I, mine's still on here. Yeah. So um, it's a bag that you can put in your uh, purse that folds up and you'll always have a bag with you. I also got... Oh, I got a t-shirt. It's in, the, it's in laundry right now, though. It, it's really cute. I will try to show it uh, maybe on the next podcast she had made for me. It says something about, I'm just a woman who loves Dr. Pepper, and there's like a Dr. Pepper can, and then there's like flowers underneath it. It is the cutest thing ever. Um, I got a little pink um, mini. Okay, this one is hilarious, which this is kind of a joke between me and her. But she had, oh my gosh, I'm so bad with names. Charmed Hooks and Crafts. Mm -hmm. I know. Make me this progress keeper. And it's a little mustard hot dog. <laughs> How cute is that? And there's a whole story behind that, so I think Alicia might know. Mm -hmm. mm, probably, but I don't remember. And then she had knitting left to make something for us. Uh-huh. Which I haven't seen yet. And they are child sock blockers. Oh, look at the brains. With the knit for brains on it. That's cute. And they do beautiful work. So, got those two. And I think that's it. Other than, which we will wake her at the end of the podcast, she also sent a little dress for uh, Moo Moo. And she is wearing it right now. She looks very cute in it. But, but she's, she's sound asleep. She's so we're, snoring. Yeah, we're going to leave her sleep until the end, and then we'll try to get her up and show you guys um, how cute she looks in it. Yep. Okay. I have one last thing to show. Okay. You go ahead. And then I have a whole other bin. It's in my giant box. So it's like, why aren't you getting rid of that box? So I was like, <laughs> not yet. Oh, yes. Um, these are from Knitting Left. Mama or ordered them. But, but they refused to let mom pay for them. They ended up sending them. They <laughs> gifted them to her. They gifted them which to Which was us. so, so sweet. Um, because of our lovely pup pup Zoe, who is home, finally. <laughs> um, I kind of went off and didn't take no for an answer when we didn't get her paw prints that they said that they were going to send to. So we went rounds with that. That dog is really snoring. She's really snoring. <laughs> Dang. So, um... <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear her, but it's really loud. <laughs> they are now... Knitting left. Now, they've always done, like, the carving, like, carving out, cut the cutouts and stuff. They've expanded a bit, guys. Mm -hmm. And you can order custom work, and it is very reasonably priced. Um... I mean, if you want kid sock blockers with all the children of your kids, faces of your kids, that way you're like, well, these are going to little Joe, and yeah, they these are going to the things they're they're doing are amazing, and these Zoe ones are beautiful. So there is the fronts of them, which is little Zoe, and then the cutouts with the one ear up and the one ear down. She always had that ear up. <laughs> you can see in this photo, she has one ear up. <laughs> and then at the bottom, same thing. One ear up, one ear down. And then on the back side is my favorite picture of her. Which is funny because it was just one I 
I just picked because I didn't know that they were doing this. Um, she had asked me if I had pictures that it would make it easier for her husband. And I was kind of thinking, hmm, what's that got to do with a cutout? But I'm like, whatever, I'm going with it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I sent them pictures and stuff. And they sent them to my house. And I was stunned beyond words when I when I opened this up. Yeah. Um, I texted Alicia right away. And she came over because I knew they'd be they'd, they'd be something. She definitely, you know, uh, I did not want to give her on the podcast. <laughs> no, especially because the day before this, we got Zoe. Yeah, um, and then she was like, "I got something for you," and I was like, "Oh, two days in a row, <laughs> <laughs> two days in a row." It was. It was. You did pretty good, though. I did pretty good. Mom was crying. I was crying more than her. <laughs> I was. I, I'm one of those people that, you know, I get, I get my moments and I do, I cry so hard that I make <laughs> myself sick and sob, but most of the time when I cry, I'm more of a silent crier, <laughs> where you just look over and you're like, what happened? I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> There's just tears coming. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. So but these were great, greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, I, they're just no words for these. They're, <laughs> they're just that. Well, and that's what I told her too. I'm like, I, I'm speechless it's right just now, and such it does a great job. It does, it, and that doesn't happen to me often. No. Y'all know I can talk. <laughs> no, when no. somebody renders me speechless, that, that that's that's a pretty big thing. So, and I don't have sock blockers besides the baby sock blockers. So these are my. Only sock blockers yeah. that I have. <laughs> yeah, and we think she's going to probably display them in the craft room. Yeah. Um, mine I have just hanging on a nail. I did, since there's a front and back, there, she'll probably hang them two, na two nails so you can um, see both of them. So, beautiful work. Beautiful. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Is that all you have now? That's it. Okay, guys. Mom's got a flipping one, haul. One would think that we have not recorded in forever. I know it was just two weeks ago. So. Oh, 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 oh. Guys. This is my Goodwill bin. Oh. And savers. You even got the bin there. I'm going to be quick. Okay, good. But you guys love... Don't you start with me because I have stuff for you. I can't feel my toes. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to start with last week's Goodwill um, finds. Well, this one is, was actually at Arkansas. It's the Beginner's Guide, Knit Stitches, and Easy Projects. It was a dollar. There's patterns in there. There's different stitches in there. I like stuff like that. So I got that. Two skeins of sock yarn. They're neutral. Will probably be baby socks. Woohoo! I got a lot of baby sock material here. Um, wine charms, which will actually end up being progress keepers. Yep. See, you gotta keep your eyes out for stuff like that. Okay, then I got, and I told you guys I would go through this quick. I got some more cotton for my stash. Uh, peaches and cream, and I'm not sure on this one. Thought it was a good variety of colors, and some of it goes with other colors I already have. I got a Knitter's Companion. Which I haven't looked through a whole lot yet. Um, usually when I get back, I just throw this in there. Okay, these I thought of you. Okay. Because of the whole bamboo thing. That's weird. They're DPNs, and they have little needles holders that you can stick the DPNs into. Do you see what this says? No one. Oh my gosh! No. It's because it's an owl and a pussy cat. I did not see that, but anyhow, there's um, it it's, <laughs> it has a story on the back of it, and it doesn't say pussy cat every single time. <laughs> but at any rate, it says you're a 
<laughs> okay, let's go past that. Oh, Anyways, <laughs> they're DPNs and they have the little um, <laughs> holders that you can stick on the top of the DPNs. <laughs> <laughs> they were like really cheap, so I got them. Okay, so that was the first time. Not a whole lot. And then then, then we, today happened. Then today happened. Guys, it was crazy. So I did get something for you guys. Just a madhouse. I got another one of the fairy tale knits when I was up north that um, we are going to put in the bin for... Gift the Gift the Knits Cow. Because <clears throat> it had such... We both liked it so well. It is a very beautiful book and it has a lot of nice patterns in there. And then I decided I wanted to have one as a prize as well. Mm. So, there's that. This one I got for Alicia. Which I've been... I have been honestly trying to the find Disney this book. book of knitting. I found this at Savers today. And if you were a club member... Anything you purchased at Savers was 50% off. Oh my god. This book online, trying to find it, is so expensive. Okay. I'll give you I'll give you the rundown. This book, normal price at Savers, $3.49. Amazon? I got half off of that today. That's amazing. No, I'm talking like this. This, this is got a... kids, women's, for every character. Mm -hmm. And it's like... It's the, the classics. Little, yes. And even if you didn't want to knit the whole garment, you could use the chart mm -hmm. to knit onto something. Oh, and and your jumper. I saw this. Oh, my God. Is that like, Tweedledee and Tweedledum? Yes. I saw this, and I was like, I have got to get this for Alicia. And I told uh, my husband, I said, maybe she won't poo-poo the Goodwill section this time. <laughs> he said that she's still with. I mean... <laughs> She's very excited about this. Oh my god. Show it to him. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I found a good one, didn't I? I need to start from the back. Okay. Um, also, actually, I think that was at a Goodwill that I got it at. Anyhow, There's no it does, sticker. Does it really matter? Uh, yeah, they don't put them on there. Then I got... It is Tweedledee. Yeah, because Tweedle this, this was Savers. So I paid a dollar ninety nine for this. I was wrong because this was Goodwill. I paid a dollar ninety nine. <laughs> so my my Savers one that I was talking about that was the three forty nine and half off was this one, and I did not even look through it because I know there's going to be something. It's called Easy Baby Knits Clothes and Accessories for Zero to Three Year Olds. That looks like a new one too. And it did. Um, no. It's normally $16.95. Um, let me see if there's a publication date. Uh, printed in China. That does not help me. Well, it was first published in 2007. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I have little baby booties with a pom-pom. <laughs> so there's hats in here. There's sweaters. There's blankets. There's sections where um, you can go to that you just would use cotton <laughs> yarn. There's, you know, wool yarns. There's bibs in here. I mean, anything you can think of. Toys and accessories seems to be in this book. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited to Look for this one. And it was a good deal. So I got that there. And then I got, which I should have opened this, I'm sorry. A little kit that makes this little owl. <laughs> which I thought was really cute. And the kit comes with all the yarns to make it. It was a dollar. So why not? So then, this was at, when we went to our very first Goodwill today, I never get a cart. I never get a basket. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Um, I walked over to the craft section. Next thing I know, I'm like this. And I'm like, okay, I, I need a basket. So I had to go get a basket. 
So obviously either somebody stopped knitting socks or somebody purchased a bunch of sock yarn thinking they would knit socks and never learned or whatever the case may be. I found a lot of sock yarn. Granted, yes, it is commercial sock yarn, but it's fine because a lot of them are neutral colors and will be made into baby socks. Yeah. Which she will not have to worry about hand washing. So, I'm just going to go through. I've got Patton's Croy. That's a fun color. Yeah, these just have, I think, numbers. No. I don't think they have a name. They should have a number, a uh, name. Oh, do they? Summer Moss. Oh, well, you found that really quick. Okay. I'm working at Craft Is this the same? Yep, yeah, and this is Summer Moss. So, I got two of those. Then I got... These are the same. Uh, Deborah, Deborah Norville, uh, Premier. Do these have names? No, yeah, no, we don't sell those. No, oh, well, you're not helpful then. Those are Joanne um, sells them. Serenity, free sock pattern on the back. Okay, here it is. Tanzanite. And I got two of those. Yeah, that was ripped off of this one. Okay, this is another Deborah Norville, and it's Spring Fling. Is that the same one? Because it sure looks different. Yeah, it's just one different. Yeah. So two of those. I wasn't even paying attention. I just saw this all, and I started throwing it in. Another Deborah Norville. Time. Time after time. <laughs> now you see why I needed a basket. Um, this one is Red Heart, Heart and Soul with Aloe. Hmm, isn't that yeah. fancy? There's Aloe. And it's called Green Envy. <laughs> I smell Goodwill on these. This one is called Sensation, Soul and More. A washable wool blend for socks and more. Okay. Um, they covered up the colorway with a sticker. So, I don't know, take a guess. They're pinks and blues. Okay. This was, I want to say... Cascade. Cascade Sunseeker, which is 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. Color number 21. Oh, Sunseeker shade. Okay, whatever. It's cotton, guys. Okay. Opal. Nice. Yeah. Um, here we go again. Which one is the... You used to know which one was the... It, I believe it's... That's the lot number. No. That's... These are not the names. Oh. That's the dye lot and whatnot. Okay, we have no idea. It's opal. <laughs> and then, this does not have the tag with it. It's opal. <laughs> Without a doubt. So I got those. So then I said to Brett, I'll bet you this all came from one person. There's got to be a sock book over in the book section. <laughs> so I went to the book section. To da There's the sock book. <laughs> He was like, seriously? I'm like, I knew there had to be a sock book. Had to be. Had to be. There are sock patterns in here. There's know-how of how to do different things, how to knit a heel, how to bind off, whether you want to do, you know, toe up, cuff down, whatever. So there's a lot of stuff in there. So, yeah, they planned big things. Luckily, they didn't follow through. <laughs> they probably started casting one on. They're like, nope. Well, yeah, and there was, I, like I, I said, there was a couple that they... I can easily just go buy them, like what my husband says. <laughs> yeah. So, but there was a lot of them in here that were neutral. Yeah. That I thought I could do baby sacks. So, that was my main reason for getting all this. It'll be used for something. You know, I'm just... Oh, she's kind of covered. So, that was today, guys. I hit it big. And then Brett found this bin for me for the closet. Because I cleaned through... Oh, my finger stuck. I cleaned through the closet, the craft room closet this morning. 
and um, organized some stuff, redid a few things, and I have an extra um, cubby empty, and I'm hoping this actually fits into that cubby. So that'll be good. Um, come here, Moo Moo. Are you awake? No, I don't no. want. I don't want to rub your belly. That's what she wants. Okay, Moo Moo. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hi. No. No, look over there. Say hi. This is her little dress that Lori from Arkansas Yarn Co. got her. Hi, Moo. Hi, sweet pea. You want to say hi to all the nice people? She really was. She she was really sleepy. As you can see. You can kind of probably see a little better than last time. Uh, she did get her hair cut. <laughs> I need a one. Um, her face is starting to grow back a little bit. Um, the uh, where they took the eyes completely healed, and is she's finally growing hair over it. So a lot of people will be like, "Is she missing an eye?" Like they're not sure. <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, she's missing an eye." <laughs> it just popped out one day. <laughs> You should be like, what? She totally has one. <laughs> um, when we went to Arby's the one day from when she, after she got the incision out and she had the cone on and the eye was really looking really angry. Um, <laughs> her young kid there, it's her favorite one. I only know him because he has uh, braces and he always has different colored rubber bands. <laughs> Comes out to the window and looks at, you know, goes to do his normal greeting to, to her. Because he doesn't greet me. He greets her. And he goes, oh my gosh. He goes, ma'am, did an animal attack her? <laughs> no. So then I'm sitting in the drive through having to explain to him the whole situation and what happened. And he's like, oh my gosh. Well, when you get that cone off your head, you come back and I'll give you two treats. <laughs> so, of course, you know, I had to bring her back for her two treats. So... Yeah. And then they were out of treats. So oh. she got a whole chicken strip. Yeah. Well, the first first week I went, they were out. So I was like, okay, I really don't want Arby's next the next week when I was going to get something. And I'm like, well, okay, fine. I'll, I'll go to Arby's so you can get your treat. And we pull up to the window and he's like, the guy goes, well, I'll give you a treat, but we're out. And I went, really? It's the only reason why I came here. I really didn't want roast beef. And he has them in my order and whatever. He's like, I'm so sorry. And then he's like, hold on just a second. And he comes running over and he gives me this full chicken strip. He's like, this is for the dog. Okay, this thing was <laughs> hot. This thing was hotter than when, than my food was. <laughs> so I'm driving home. And she's like, what's that? What's that? So I'm trying to, like, I'm pulling off some of the breading. And, <laughs> You're burning yourself. And I, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm pulling off some of the breading and I'm tossing it out the window. The birds will eat it. Um, it's not good for them. You know, you know, no. it's not good for her neither. <laughs> and then I'm pulling off little pieces of um, chicken, and I've got the air conditioning mm -hmm. as cold as it go, blower all the way up, and I'm holding chicken <laughs> in front of the air conditioning vent, trying to cool it because there was no way she could have ate it without burning her little tongue. So then I give it to her, and you know, I'd, I'd tear off some more, and I. I'd cool it. You know, this is going on the whole way home. And she's pawing at my arm like the she The whole has. way home is three blocks. Yeah. <laughs> but still, it was a lot going on. So, yeah, it was kind of a headache. I mean, the guy meant well, but why are you going to give a dog a hot, a steaming hot chicken strip? I mean, yeah, at least put it in something. Yeah. No, he just handed the chicken strip no, out talk, the window. Taco Bell the one time they asked if it was okay if they gave her something. And I was like, oh, they'll, like do an unseasoned breadstick or something or potatoes or you know something like that no nope the whole thing of grilled chicken <laughs> dog loved it so mm. oh moo loved the chicken <laughs> ain't no lie about that and then she ended up eating part of my roast beef too oh, of course yeah which wasn't that good but okay mm. <laughs> yeah um Gift the Nets Cal has started. Started September 1st. I'm a horrible person. I did not <laughs> post anything. Well, we did say you would. That's okay. September 1st <laughs> through Christmas Day. Anything you knit that, that you are going to gift qualifies. For, for uh, birthdays, for just I don't being care a friend. If for... you're going to crochet, 
and a star ornament for your kid's teacher. It qualifies. It qualifies. There is no size requirement. I've been asked that a couple times. Whips do count just as long as they're not more than 50% mm -hmm. done. Yep. And we ain't going to monitor, monitor that too much because... We trust you to be honest. We, don't, we ain't going to be shady. Yeah. We know this. No. Um, I did open the FO thread. There is also a chatter thread, so share, you know, share with everybody what you're doing, what yarns you might be using, anything like that, because we do typically pull a couple people out of the chatter thread as well mm -hmm. for prizes. Especially because if you post your finished objects on your on the chatter th thread, then people can comment on them. Mm -hmm. Because in the finished objects thread, you're they not can't comment. you're not allowed to comment because we will delete it. Mm -hmm. because then it messes up our counts. And a lot of times people want to know like what pattern you used or what was that yarn you used. So give them the opportunity um, to enjoy your finished item and to find out about it. So that's the one good thing about Ravelry. <laughs> I really I don't like how Ravelry is set up at all. And so I don't I go on there, but I'm not very active looking on there. Um, you know, I get I get a pattern. <laughs> I look through I look through the thread and I'm like, okay, yeah, those look good. And then I log off. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> what are you doing, little one? <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Nothing. And we do have um, a few prizes rolling in, which will probably be here by the next podcast. Mm -hmm. um, as prizes come in, we will show you um, as they come in. And then usually about halfway through, we'll kind of go through them again, just so you guys know uh, what the prizes are. There should be a bunch, though. There should be. Hopefully I get more knitting done. <laughs> as soon as my darn pillow comes in. Maybe I'll get some sleep at night instead of only getting sleep during the day. Darn. I hate UPS. <laughs> on Thursday, no, on Friday, it said it was out for delivery, meaning it was in that truck because it, it got there at the plant, at the warehouse, Thursday. So it was out for delivery on Friday, and that delivery person was like, mm, I'm done for the day and brought my pillow <laughs> back to the warehouse where they're closed for the next three days. She's not upset at all. I'm not upset at all. I'm just, I just want, She's <laughs> you want a funny story? <laughs> oh gosh. It's, it's short. Okay. So my, um, I was, I was like, I'm just so hot all the time, and I'm sweating, and she's like, can't, you know, like, your emotions. I'm like, yeah, and I was like, it's just my hormones. It was my, one of my managers, and she's like, you know what I, what I always said when I was pregnant? And she leaned in and whispered. She's like, I always said, my whores are mourning. Moaning. Is it like hormo hormones? And she's like, my whores are moaning. <laughs> Alrighty. Knee slapper. <laughs> You're a nutcase. Moo I'm not like, a nutcase. Alicia. Hi, Moo Moo. Moo Moo went to stay with Alicia for a very short time. <laughs> very very short, short time. time. So we did, um, we left Saturday morning. Saturday morning. To head to Arkansas. Here comes the start of my non-sleep for a week. We... <laughs> We dropped Moo Moo and all her little belongings um, <laughs> off to Alicia and Phil, and she's a diva, so she did pack her stuff in a, in a, in a Vera Bradley bag. I mean, a pink one. Um, dog got to try on travel in style. <laughs> um, oh, by the time nice belch. I was at the end of the block leaving her, she was already doing no notes. <laughs> Let's just say that next day when I talked to them, they told me that she was going back over to her own house. She was not happy there. Um, no. We thought... She'd like the company. She'd like the company. She'd like to just sleep on Phil's like, lap the entire time. And she's 13 years old and has never been out of her home. And she's just comfortable there. You know, she's 13. She's used to it here. She has one eye. She doesn't hear very well. 
I think she just likes that stability. Because once they brought her back here, all was Perfectly well. fine. Alicia would come over to do her drops. She'd be sound asleep. Yep. Um, which is what she does here all the time, you know. Um, it's just hard for her to run back and forth. Yeah. We, it was going to be was. easier for her to be over there. Because they could give her her, dro her her drops and not have to drive all the way over here, but... It was wake up early to Moo just come over here to happy. do drops, to go to work, to come back over here to do more drops, to go home to eat lunch and then come back over yeah. here to do more drops, and then wait a few hours and then come back over here to do more drops. And she gets a lot of drops. Um, but and Moo feeding the rabbit, which Moo, the rabbit kills me. Moo was just... She was not happy. You know? So um, she kept them up. All night long, crying. All night long. Um, the only, the first time that she wouldn't fall asleep, I pretended to fall asleep next to her, and she fell asleep for... She probably... She was sleeping in 45-minute intervals, and then I'd wake up with her screaming and clawing at the doors. So. Which, I mean, this is a dog that sleeps all night with me. Brett comes home from work at night, and she sleeps all day with him. Yeah. Um... That's what she does. She sleeps. It feels like she's not happy here. I was like, she's like, he said, um, dogs are supposed to spend 80% of their life sleeping and she's not getting her 80% she, over here. Yeah, she usually spends about 96% of her <laughs> life. I have to knit her, I knit her, I have to wake her up just to take her outside and usually she glares at me like, how dare you wake me? Um... So, yeah, that was kind of like, oh, no. And it I was felt, a good thought. I, I felt bad for him and stuff, but um, we had a really nice time. We got there Saturday evening, um, got to visit, and we ate dinner. Sunday and Monday, we went into town for a little bit each time and kind of... Ooh, watch out, sorry. Kind of explored and whatnot. And then I did get some... I, I knit the whole way there, the whole way there which amazed your father that I can knit for that many hours because <laughs> it was five think, and a half no six it was a nine hour drive and that's if you drove oh, straight yeah. through and needless to say we had to stop for gas and we basically we stopped every hour and a half to two hours um so it it, it was a long drive and then on the way home we decided originally we were going to hit a few yarn stores <gasps> Well, let's be honest. I have one. So we decided to stop in Missouri. And uh, that was fun. We got Alicia some um, fudge and apple, apple butter, butter. And I got some t-shirts. and But it did make our drive a whole heck of a lot longer yeah. <laughs> to get home. Um, but that's fine. I was off the next day. Didn't really have anything planned other than get my nails done. So we could kind of chill and whatnot. And cater to our little diva we took her we I brought her over to your house we took her to the and post it was office funny took because her to my house she seemed happy to see alicia when we got there um and then she peed on and her, then carpet. She peed on her carpet again uh and then we took her for dairy queen which she was very very happy about <laughs> she likes to go every couple days she's not spoiled at all so but yeah so that's what we've been up to and then i came back and we, I got some sewing and stuff done and trying to catch up on things, huh? What? Oh, that was a big burp. She's okay. belching. <laughs> Can I sit up there? Where are you? So I think that's all. Anything new with you? Just pregnant. <laughs> Feeling wonderful. That's not new. <laughs> that's not new. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Uh, and for, I start dance. Yes. I start dance. So <laughs> things are picking up more. I go to the doctor next week. And for the people that have reached out, we've had a few people asking. And I think I answered everybody. But, oh. yes, she does plan on, we'll say, trying. Because, you know, sometimes they don't cooperate to find out uh, the gender of the baby. Yeah. So once we know, we will let you know. I'm going somewhere <laughs> else. Um, that way Philip can actually see an ultrasound because he's not going to be able to see the baby until it pops out of me. Because he's working during the day. He works during the day and our doctor's office doesn't have any Saturday hours at all. 
Um, cause some doctors, you know, they're open until noon or so, but not ours. So, um, we are going to an outside source where they do a, and it's 99%, 99% accurate. See, mm -hmm. um, with it from 15 to 23 weeks pregnancy. And we're going when I'm like 16, almost 17 weeks pregnant. So did you get the appointment? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got the appointment. So we're good. We'll find you're, out. You're keeping her awake. She's like, can you just doing it? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So hopefully we'll have more knitting content for you next time. And I'm sure I'm not going to have that much goodwill. Because, guys, there's no way I can I can keep hit, hitting it. Getting that lucky. There's no Every way. time. Because that was really something. To walk in and find all that yarn at the one place. So, and your dad, I'm with, I'm, I'm with the basket. He comes around the corner and you just see him go, OMG. He doesn't even say a word anymore. He's just like, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Well, I also got it like 10 zippers too while I was there. I'm like, well, you know, so. All right. We will see you guys in two weeks. Two weeks. All right. Bye.